Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, once again I'm going to be attempting to solve the six nerdle puzzles and variations uh, basically as quickly as I can. Uh, of course I do sometimes pause a little bit to try and explain my thinking, it depends how stuck I am. Uh, we're going to start with the same sum that we always do and it's given us a fair amount of information today. But only one symbol in the correct position. So there's going to be some multiplication. I think that's probably going to get the two symbols in the correct position. I'm not sure about the digits. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, so it's going to have to be 17, otherwise we're not going to be able to get down to triple figures. So 17 minus 8 is 9, minus 5 equals 4, or minus 4 equals 5, take your pick. It was a 50-50 guess I think at that stage. There might have been one or two other solutions, possibly, maybe not actually. Um, but anyway, I guessed the correct one from the two that I had in mind, so I'll, I'll claim that as a 50-50 shot. Let's uh, load up the next one. We'll do the, the classic binerdle next, I think. So once again, for anybody new, this is the exact same principle, but you have to solve two of them at the same time. Which isn't necessarily harder, because as you can see, if I now try and work out what this one is and put in a guess it's going to give me information for the other one whether I'm thinking about that one or not. I'm going to try and do some plus action on the bottom I think. Um, what do we want? 50, 51 it's going to have to be in order to get 9 used somewhere. Don't like duplicating the ones, but I'm not sure there's too much I can do. I'm going to be duplicating something. Oh, it could be eight or nine, couldn't it? So that could be a three or a four. No, it can't be a three. So it's got to be 48, I think. We'll soon find out. Good. So what have we got for this one? We've actually used every digit apart from zero now, so one, three, four, six, and seven. And it's going to use times or divide. Or is it going to be a two digit times or one digit equals a three digit? This might be a problem to do mentally. 43 times seven, 64 times, 63, sorry, times seven is 441, I think that's consistent. I suppose it could be 7 times 63, which would be annoying. Oh, it's not even anything remotely close to... That's... I'm astonished I managed to find a completely valid answer that has still none of them in the correct position. There's going to be some divide then, isn't there? So it's going to be equals something at the end. Um, 7 and 14, so it could be uh, 14 times 3, oh no it's not times, so divided by 6 times 3 equals 7. Right, everything's correct, just in the wrong order. So it's going to be 3, probably 3 times 14, divided by 6. But again, it could possibly be divided by 6 times, but it can't be times 14, because over 1 would be there. So I think this has to be correct. And it is. Still, 6 guesses in total. It's not my best effort. 
Uh, let's let's whiz through the instant. I think. Targeting under twenty seconds here. Something times something plus something. Um, or something plus something times something. Yes, there we go. Eight plus four times seven. Equals 36. Didn't quite get it under 30 seconds, that's a lie. I solved it, I just couldn't click it quick enough. <laughs> I don't keep needing to go back to the home page every time, do I? That would save me some time. And time is of the essence in this puzzle. Did you like that segue? <laughs> Let's try 24 over 8. What are we going to do next? Times 2 equals 6. Oh, let's do times 3 equals 9 to use different digits. Wow. Completely correct again, just in the wrong order. So, 3, oh, no, 9 divided by 24 times 8. Does that work? Oh, wrong way round. Yeah, this way round makes more sense because then you don't end up with a weird fraction if you do left to right. Obviously it's the same result, but it makes more sense that you would think about it that way. Uh, right, well that was the speed. So now we've just got the two small ones to do. So what should we start with today? 3 times 7 equals 21. Why not? Oh, OK. That's quite a lot of information. 13 minus 7. It's consistent. I'm sure there are lots of things that are consistent. There we go. Got it in two. Quite fortunate with that one. But the smaller ones are easier to get into. I'm going to stick with the 3 times 7 then for this one. It seems to work so well. Not quite so well this time. Should have guessed. Right, the bottom one could be anything. As could the top one, to be fair. The top one's probably going to be something like 14 minus 6 equals 8. I say something like that. There's lots of variations. But I think it's going to be a two-digit number starting with 1. And that checks off a few things for the multiplication down here. OK, so 6 times 8 for the bottom one. It's probably going to be 8 times 6. <laughs> I knew I should have swapped them around. And then the top one, what have we got? We've just got the 6 lurking somewhere. So it could be equal 6, or it could be 16. No, it can't be 16 minus 8 or 16 minus 9. So it's something that equals 6, which is looking like 15 minus 9, but it could be 11 minus 5. But we'll find out for sure after this. Got a bit lucky there, I think. Um, but yeah, solved it in five. Could have been better. Um, but yeah, that was my speediest performance of the week, I think. Uh, under ten minutes for the set. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you again next time. Bye for now.